It started with the AFCON title, the Chan title, the Under-20 title, the Beach Soccer title, and now they've been able to crown it up with the Under-17 title. The temp a template that I think other countries should be able to at this point and begin to work with is what the Senegalese have shown in the last 15 months, winning five major trophies. Let me make welcome uh, George Alu to the show. Thank you, Matthew. Is Senegal all the way? Senegal at the under 17, Senegal at the under 20, Senegal at the senior level. So, from top to bottom, it is Senegal that shows you how their football is on the rise. Yes, their football is truly on the rise. Before we go to Raymond, some person say it's a face that it will fade out at some point. But if you look at the quality of players, they seem to be churning out at the cadet level. You want to say they might dominate on the continent for a while. We always say that uh, that is a bad belly assessment, like they say <laughs> in local palace. See, the Senegalese are doing the right thing. You know, they even have the Aspire Academy in up there in Dakar, Senegal. So they are getting it right. You can imagine that Senegal is trying to host the Youth Olympics. So that shows you that they are football. You saw their game against uh, World Cup qualifier against uh, Egypt. How beautiful that stadium in Dakar is. Can you compare it with what we have at the Abuja National Stadium, despite all the money we have invested in that stadium? Today, we are talking of only nest of champion being the only place where Nigeria can play international football. So, Senegal, they have gotten it right, and we need to borrow a leaf from them if we must do it the Senegalese way. Absolutely. We need to borrow a leaf from them. If we must begin to develop our football, we must begin to do it holistically. Raymond is also with us in the studio. Raymond, let's talk the UEFA Champions League. Guardiola, 100 uh, wins in the Champions League, is in the final with City. Would this be their first win when they file out against Inter on the 10th of June in Istanbul? Welcome to the show. Yeah, nice to be here. Sports videos are home, I must tell you. And uh, you know, uh, for Guardiola, you can be sure everything is uh, possible when it has to do with uh, football. No wonder he says uh, last uh, night that he loves himself. He lost what is achievement and he wants to keep uh, inspiring himself. He wants to keep uh, doing things that uh, look uh, incredible. He's enjoying himself and uh, I think his players are equally uh, cooperating with him. Against Inter, you can be sure uh, City are favorites already. Because a team that can hammer uh, and of course rubbish Real Madrid. Four goals to nothing is no mean team. So for City and Guardiola, everything is uh, just uh, working out for them. I will not be surprised uh, if uh, they win uh, the title at Istanbul uh, come uh, the 10th of uh, next month.